Hi guys. So I will continue this R2R series, which I prepare already prepared the intro video related to R2R. So if you have not checked that, you can check that. And uh, now uh, we will continue the same series. So uh, here we will start with the postings, which is very important uh, category from R2R point of view. But before that, you should know what is the master data or what are the master records we are going to use here. So I will start with initial FI postings. Then after that, I will add uh, other parameters like uh, with cost object and all. So when you are going to post any document, so for that posting, so in SAP we are saying that document means any transaction we are going to post. So output will be generated and that is a document just like you are posting one voucher and uh, the output will be there. Some account is going to debit or a couple of accounts are going to debit and something is going to payable bank, all this is going to credit. So that means it is highly required that you must have those GL masters. For example, if I'm going to post one expenditure, then I should have that particular GL master in my system and uh, then we are going to post. So when you are going to start your user carrier, particularly the entry level end user uh, uh, profile. So in that case, you are not authorized to create any master data. Although I will cover here how to create the GL master, but in today's uh, video, I will not show you how to create master data. Assume that you got the master data and which is created by your super user or maybe the power user. So by using those master records, how we are going to post the document that we will see or related to that document, whatever the activities we will see. Uh, as I said, when we are going to post any GL master record, so that time every GL master is part of one chart of account. So this chart of account, again, it is configuration part. So that will be handled by the consultant. So you no need to worry about the chart of account, but just for your reference, chart of account means the list of GL accounts. So we need to configure in system different chart of account. We have uh, operating chart of account, which is uh, mandatory. Then we have group chart of account and we have country specific chart of accounts are there. So you don't need to go all these details. It is part of my um, configuration segment, so which I already configured. Now, any GL master which we will create or what we will post in the document or we will use in the posting of the document. So it is definitely the part of our chart of account. So by using that particular GL account or couple of GL accounts, I will post the document. And when I will post the document, so as I said, it is highly required that master data should be there and I will get some output. So that output we are saying that suppose I'm going to post some expenditure as debit and payable or bank as credit. So what will be my output here? So output will be one document, right? So we are going to get one confirmation of the transaction that we are seeing the document. Also, we will see uh, analysis of the document. As I said, I will create multiple uh, videos in this segment in this series. So there we will see one video will be there related to document analysis. So we will get the document, we will get the GL balances, we will, we will get the uh, reporting. So all these things will be my output. So I'm going to feed some data in the system and we will process those data in the form of posting the document. And after that, we will get the output. So, and it is your uh, responsibility of the R to R team, they are going to analyze those data or they are going to do the necessary further steps like your reconciliation, your closing activities. So it, it will be handled by both R to R team. I mean, uh, it, some documents you will directly post in the system, some documents will be integrated one. So let's start with posting one particular voucher. Now, my first point is here, how to park one GL document. Now, what is the concept of parking? For example, let's say I'm an uh, entry level end user. That means I have, uh, I don't have any authorization to post any document. Uh, let's say my designation is process associate or uh, process executive. So I am going to feed the data in the system. My manager is going to approve that document or my manager is going to post that document. So I'm just going to feed the data in the system. Manager is going to post it. So in this particular uh, first step, we are going to do how to park one GL document. And here the, to access the SAP system, which I will show you also the login and all. So uh, here you will find that uh, two options are there. So when you will work in any organization as a part, as, as an end user, so you, you will find two options, like how to access the system through navigation, step by step we can navigate or we can use the transaction code or you can say shortcut, it's actually transaction code to execute that ABAP particular program, right? So both options I will show you. So now let's go into the SAP system and we will park a particular document. Park means I will feed everything in the system, but I will not post it. So as I will not post it, you will not get any output there. So you will not find that document is properly posted, but you will find that system or we enter the information in the system. Then in next step, we will post that particular document, which I'm going to park now. So first step, I'm going to park the document. So once you will log into the SAP system, so right now I'm using on-premises for this particular uh, 
uh, posting of that activity and then after that we will also use the cloud one that is our fiori so once you log into the on premises system once you will get your access from your office you will get it and after that you will you enter your user id and password and this is your first screen where you are going to work consultants are going to work in the back end so right now when i will show you the posting activities or any user activities that means in back end i already did the configuration so right now you no need to worry about this one in particular uh, r to r when you are going to join as end user so here i am going to post the document so you can see different folders are there so all these folders are nothing but different modules or sub modules are there so our module is accounting module that is related to finance similarly under log, log uh, we have logistic module is also there under each module or under one folder you will find some sub folders are there which we are saying sub module so under this accounting we have fi is there we have financial supply chain fscm is there controlling is there so different sub modules are there for to handle different business process similarly under logistic if someone is working as as logistic end user so under logistic procurement production sales all these activ uh, activities are there so i'm going to access this uh, particular activity so i want to park one document and for that parking purpose i will use the transaction code or i can use navigation let me show you both so if i need to post the document expand the financial accounting then under this F fi is my module under fi then different sub modules are there so we are right now focusing on r to r so r to r means it is related to gl process so i am going to expand the general ledger then i will feed some data in the system so for that purpose it will be document entry th that i expand here then from this i am going to pick one activity or one category and all these exactly the steps are also i have given here in this uh, ppt so easy access then accounting i was just expanding those folders financial accounting general ledger document entry the next step is edit par gl document and the transaction code is fv50 right so he, in this way you can access your system this is how we can navigate the system right so this is my edit or park gl document so i got my screen this is one way or in office quickly if you want to feed the data in the system or you want to perform your task so just enter here the transaction code so this is the place where we are going to use the transaction code so the transaction code is something was there right so you need to remember this t codes particularly when you are preparing for the user profile so in, in end user interview t code question may arise consultant point of view it is not important because consultants are going to do lot of configurations but user point of view as you are going to focus on one particular area or a small part so it is expected that the t code question will be there and uh, that is why in my every presentation i will add both node as well as t code so fv50 okay so that i am going to add in the system in in particular place this here so i'm going to add here the transaction code fv50 last time i access i just expand one folder the next folder the next folder in this way i access here i just enter the particular transaction code and i am landed in that particular screen so it is easy to use and mostly will use t code in when you will work in the office because it is more convenient right so this part of the document this segment we will although we will analyze the document the upper segment of the document is known as your document header so you can see it is header information and the lower segment where the lines are available so these are the line item information so we are going to feed some data in this header part some informations automatically it will be there because of consultants configuration we are going to add some informations in the line item also this right now it is a blank format you can say where i am going to feed the information whatever it is required and after that i will save it or i will post it park it as per my authorization so as i am saying i don't have the authorization to post it so i will park it right so i i will select here the date that is your invoice date which is their document date so i will select here the date invoice date uh, let's take today's date then posting date automatically it is coming today's date then some informations more informations are there that is related document type you leave it this currency again that is coming uh, because of the configuration some period informations are coming again mo most of the informations you will get here because of your configuration and now here in the line item segment i am going to specify which account i am going to use for the debit entry or which account i am going to use credit entry right so when we are going to select if you know the particular gl master or gl account number suppose i want to uh, make the payment related to electricity cost so i if i know the particular gl account then i will select it if i don't know then i can just click here and whatever the gl masters are there in this particular company code so 
you need to select it. No need to uh, worry about how these GL masters are uh, available here. Uh, separately, we will learn how to create the GL master and when you will join the office. And uh, you are not authorized to create GL master. So there are three gradations, end user, super user, power users. So normally power users are responsible for creating master data but for your benefit i will add that one video how to create the gl master okay so from this list i am going to select let's say this particular gl account so what is my gl account number 3012 so this one is going to debit or credit as per your requirement you are going to select debit or credit so this is debit then some cost suppose i will select here cost is 1100 then uh, I will just click enter here. So my first line system accepted and what is the total amount debit amount here 1100. Because of my configuration you can see automatically uh, some informations should be there but as I said this one um, I'm focusing only the FI postings. So when I'm going to post this cost so cost should be recorded with a cost center. So let's select one cost center to here. But this can be also configurable that automatically system is going to take the cost center. Okay, so I just picked the cost center here, just randomly I picked one cost center, so this cost will be there in the particular cost center, we will also see the report related to cost center, but again that is not part of our tour, that will be handled by the costing team. Then something will be credit will be there, bank, will payable, all this will be the credit entry, so here I am going to select some account, so let's take here, let's take the first account that is cash account. Right, so this one I'm going to take as credit. So as per accounting, your debit and credit should be balanced, should be matched. So 1100 should be credit amount, right? Enter. Now you can see, document confirmed, it is correct. Green message is there. So we have equal debit and we have equal credit, right? So it is there and now I'm going to park it. I don't have the authorization to post it, so I'm going to park it. This is the option where we can save on and park document. So after that, my manager is going to get the alert and manager is going to post that particular document. That my job over here. Okay, and I got a uh, confirmation that this particular document parked, not posted. So this particular document 1009 was parked, right? So uh, again, separately, we will see one video for uh, reporting point. If you just quickly let me show you the report here. So right now, uh, as I posted one document and if I will select here related to this particular GL account So what is the output here? I'm not getting anything just now I feeded the data, but I can't see anything uh, Let me check whether the GL account is selected correctly or not. This 3013 3012 okay, let me try this one I'm, I'm not getting anything. It's because what I selected here, I selected here the category, the information what I am looking here, the information I am looking here, normal item. Whereas I have not posted the document, I parked the document. So I need to select the option park items, then execute. So from the database, from different tables, system get the information. So again, we have entry view, GL view. So we will see later. Right now, we will focus only how to park the document. So you can see here, what is the status of the document? Check this one. The document is not posted, it's parked. That means it is there for review. So next, so another user is going to review it. And this is the document that time we parked, 1009. And I can see my balance is updated here. So I selected this particular GL account. If I will select uh, other account also, you will get the credit information. So this is how you are going to park the document. So park the document means basically as I don't have authorization to post it, I will park it. Now I assume that I am a different user. The document which is my previous user parked it, I'm going to post it or I'm going to complete that particular task after reviewing everything. Okay, so how to do that? And that is my next post one park document, transaction code FBV0. Okay, again, we will see both navigation as well as we will see the T code. So you know how, how to enter the T code. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, so this is my screen. And I got the alert that one user already parked one document which I need to post. So I will go to accounting, then I will go to financial accounting, same process, I will go to general ledger. Now I'm not going to feed the data. So I'm not going to enter the information in the system, rather I will complete it. So I will check the document, right? So here I will check the document. So this is one folder is there, park document folder. So in this park document folder, I will select this one, post or delete. Either I will post it or I will delete it. Okay, so transaction code FBB0, accept it. Now here, uh, 
it's already just one document we parked so the same document it's showing but let's say i want to see today's uh, uh, in this particular company code or in this entity where we are working so how many documents are already parked which i need to complete it so if i will execute here so it will show the number of documents are already in the pending list or in the parked list so now i'm going to accept it so I accepted this document and after that if I need some modifications so I can do that for example here a user has not entered anything in the text field I want to add the so it is so just I entered here something electricity cost okay and uh, I I am going to save it not save it I am going to post it so check it so post it so system is not going to generate one more document here so same document updated as posted item so document number 10009 was posted in the company code last time it was par parked now it is posted and if i will check my report if i if i will refresh it so la just one second check the status it's parked right i am going to refresh it now status change it's posted other information assignment all this this text everything updated so here you will find two users uh, perform this particular activity one user park the document and another user post this document so this is if one interview question will be there so you can answer this one